Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So be polite, be polite and listen. <laughs> and for those of you who are hard of hearing, listen! <laughs> there it is, there you go. Dave, Dave's gonna, this is uh, Dave Hennigman. Hey! So should I start before you, Anthony? Or no, we'll just play Privacy. I consider her a statue. It's best not to speak to her. To believe that she was given, she was given a high goal heart. She was right to call these lies. Why is my stomach rumbling? Why am I sleepy? I came back and you returned to normal. We have nothing in common. I'm beyond such foolishness. I never try so desperately. I feel that taking away pieces of my soul, a newly formed addiction. Afterwards, I don't remember anything. Now. Not one single face or a single pair of eyes. And I've given them names. I imagine the circumstances under which we meet. I'm not the cause. I only come much later gathering crumbs. It's someone's life. It's not a fantasy to them. I'm missing out. At times, it's not enough to know that I preserve this in myself. I can never handle the guilt. They're fortunate. No one got to them. Fill their minds with nonsense. I, I was won over, or was I restricted before I can even feel the sign of the thing. What she or he'll say? Do I secretly hope that she'll give me permission? Do, do, do I desire this space, this opportunity? I thought I'd never do certain things, but I can't function without now. If I imprison myself. If I let them devour all of my time, I know what he I know what he put in its place. How it affects each of us. The sun hasn't even risen yet. I hear him turning pages. He tries to convince me that they enjoy it, that they giggle playfully before and after they take she wants to know where it came from. This reflection ripples on the surface of this. I only did it to annoy her as my wife a place wrapped in barnacle blankets, speaking in whispers. I'd go there now if I could. They always welcome me. They don't want anything in return. There are some joys and some of she's entirely forgotten. It bothers me how they rush to her. I'm of little use to him awake, still I shouldn't fall asleep. If they see me, he's Standing next to her, she's pointing at something. I'm not listening. I, I walked in on them in each other's arms. This is how he protects himself. We are unique. We're dying from within. I believe anything that could trigger his grace, and it's easy to find beauty, kindness more abundant still. If she gives herself entirely, she'll be just as rewarded. Before the next wave washes over us. I'm alert, there may be hope. He wipes the grease from his fingers as best he can, searches for a flat surface on which to write. I've never felt any sympathy. I spy on her from time to time. She has nothing to hide, but I don't have anything better to do. Clues are pure, virtuous, even if they don't know they're being watched. I hope that this goes slowly, gently, doesn't disappoint her. It's covered in cobwebs. I brush it off. New ones soon appear. It seems to have been abandoned. She was upset when I jokingly accused her of this, what I've done, how badly have I wounded her. I worry when she's alone, her little neck could snap. She could be torn apart, step in quicksand. Two terrible days of time, two agonizing days, and what are the foolishness? Of what possible wrong is she little voice seem capable? Is she too trusting, worse off than most? Even the dishonest are occasionally sad, and rain rips off her. I am honored that she's that she bring him. I'm honored that she bring me here. I've done nothing wrong. I'm so certain I haven't felt certainty in years. I successfully turned my back.
colored eggshells. <laughs> me but it shouldn't but I've seen the future and I should have warned them some days I notice only the blind all right Charlie. 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 Charlie.